That is monstrous. <laughs> Imagine the thrill of stumbling upon a hidden trove of priceless treasures that have been concealed for centuries, waiting to be unearthed by the fortunate few. From lost riches beneath the ocean's depths to astonishing finds on land, the world has witnessed remarkable discoveries that captivate our imaginations. Join us as we delve into the annals of exploration and unveil the 20 biggest treasures ever discovered, showcasing the undeniable allure of the unknown. Number 20. Saddle Ridge Hoard In the gold-rich lands of California's Sierra Nevada in 2014, a couple was strolling with their dog on their own property. This wasn't an unusual occurrence. They had trodden this path countless times before, never giving much thought to their surroundings. But fate had a surprise in store. On this fateful day, something caught their eye, a metal can peeking out from the earth. Naturally curious, they decided to investigate. And oh boy, what a discovery it turned out to be. Gold coins, not just a handful, mind you, but an astounding 1,400 plus of them. Now, at first glance, you might think, well, that's a nice little windfall. $30,000 from those coins face value is nothing to sneeze at, especially for a casual dog walk. But wait, there's more to this glittering tale. These weren't just ordinary coins, they carried historical weight. That detail catapulted their value skyward. The sum total of these coins' historical significance propelled the discovery's worth to a jaw-dropping $10 million. The couple, wisely keeping their newfound treasure under wraps until authentication, eventually reaped their well-deserved rewards. News of their extraordinary find spread like wildfire, and the treasure became immortalized as the Saddle Ridge Hoard. All this simply because they took their dog for a stroll and finally heeded the call of that inconspicuous can emerging from the ground. Now, close your eyes and imagine if someone else had stumbled upon this jackpot before them. Talk about a missed opportunity. Number 19. San Jose. Get ready to be transported back in time to a gripping chapter in history. Spain, embroiled in the Spanish War of Succession, faced a grueling 13-year conflict and a hefty need for funds to keep the wheels of war turning. The King of Spain was seeking treasure to bolster his war chest. His solution? Deploy the Grand Ship San Jose on a mission to raid South American colonies and secure resources. But fate had other plans. Fast forward to June 8, 1708, a crucial moment when San Jose's destiny took a tragic turn. Engaging a British ship in a naval encounter, the San Jose met its watery grave. What lay beneath the waves was a treasure trove of epic proportions, gold, silver, and emeralds amassed from South American conquests. This submerged fortune, valued at a staggering $17 billion, wasn't just any treasure. It was the stuff of legends, the kind that ignites the imagination and fuels the quest for the extraordinary. Now, let's fast forward to the present day, 2015 to be exact. After resting in the depths of the Caribbean Sea for over three centuries, the doomed vessel was rediscovered, reigniting the world's fascination. However, the rediscoverers decided to keep their astonishing find hushed initially, a prudent move considering the siren call it might have sent out to potential treasure hunters. Given the potentially astronomical wealth resting on the seabed, their caution is entirely understandable. Number 18. Staffordshire Hoard if you're teetering on the edge of deciding whether to invest in your own metal detector for a shot at uncovering hidden treasures, let me regale you with Terry Herbert's remarkable tale. And rest assured, it's a tale that'll put a smile on your face. On a mere hunch, Terry embarked on a journey to a farm near his home in Staffordshire, England. Armed with his trusty metal detector, he started scouring the area until he caught a promising signal. What followed next was the beginning of an adventure that surpassed even his wildest dreams. At this point, you might think the story ends here. He discovered a rare artifact, job well done. But Terry's tale was far from over. He continued to dig, unearthing one treasure after another, and days turned into an excavation extravaganza. Can you believe that in the span of five days, he managed to collect an astonishing 244 bags brimming with rare artifacts? And here's the kicker. A substantial chunk of these finds was made of gold. It's almost mind-boggling to fathom the sheer magnitude of this discovery. Whoever buried this treasure seemed intent on amassing an extraordinary hoard in one spot. This story, however, transcends ordinary limits. The scale of the find prompted a full-scale archaeological dig. 
As the excavation progressed, a staggering total of 3,500 objects emerged from their long slumber, an eclectic mix of sizes and materials, including gold, silver, bronze, and even a precious garnet. All these pieces painted a vivid picture of their Anglo-Saxon origins. In fact, this assembly of treasures stands as the largest collection of its kind ever recorded. And what's the cherry on top? The collective value of these artifacts reached a staggering three and a half million dollars, a wealth rightfully shared between Terry and the landowner. Number 17. Roman Coin Hoard The grandeur of the Roman Republic or Empire remains etched in history as one of the most renowned civilizations to have ever shaped our world. From their innovations that still influence modern times to the illustrious figures who left their mark, their legacy persists even today. Evidence of their dominion extends across Europe and beyond, a testament to their enduring impact. This is a captivating discovery, a hoard of coins, an astonishing 10,000 in number, unveiled by a metal detector enthusiast in a field near Huntingdon, Cambridgeshire, during the spring of 2018. This story reminds us that if you're drawn to treasure hunting, a simple metal detector can open doors to history's secrets. These coins, believed to be hidden during the 3rd century amid a changing empire, connect us to a significant era. It all began with one copper coin. The treasure seekers pressed on, unearthing a wealth of coins, each bearing a determined spirit. They kept their discovery quiet, seeking experts' insights. The true value of the coins remains unknown, but their ties to a momentous ruling era, coupled with their impressive number 10,000 in total, and the museums vying for them, suggest a substantial worth. Number 16. Ringle Mere Gold Cup Typically, when valuable items sustain damage, their worth diminishes considerably. It's a common principle that something pristine and untouched commands a higher value. Yet the tale of the Ringle Mere Cup defies this convention, as its significance transcends its physical condition. Meet Cliff Bradshaw, an avid enthusiast of archaeology and metal detecting, a hobby that often leads to delightful treasures. On a seemingly ordinary day, Bradshaw embarked on a search in a Kent, England farm, a journey that would rewrite his story. Amidst the sweep of his metal detector, a telltale signal beckoned, prompting him to unearth a truly exceptional find, the Ringle Mere Cup. Now you might be thinking it's just a gold cup, right? Well, the cup's worth goes far beyond its material. This remarkable artifact dates back to the Bronze Age, crafted between 1700 and 1500 BC, and stands as one of a mere seven of its kind ever discovered. This rarity bestowed upon it an unparalleled value, However, there's a twist to this tale. The cup bore the marks of its history. It had been run over by a plow on the very farm before Bradshaw's discovery. Despite its imperfections, the British Museum recognized its exceptional rarity and was willing to pay a substantial sum, 520,000 pounds to be precise, for this tangible connection to the past. But like many stories of treasure, there's a pragmatic twist. The farm wasn't Bradshaw's, and thus the earnings had to be shared. Number 15. Fen Treasure. Meet the fortunate Jack Stoff, whose life took a golden turn, quite literally. Though it might sound like a plot from an adventure movie, I assure you this is no work of fiction. The story unfolds in the rugged Rocky Mountains, where a chest of treasures lay hidden by none other than retired art dealer Forrest Fenn. The excitement stems from a cryptic poem in Fenn's memoir, which serves as a map to this coveted chest's location. Within this chest, as revealed by Fenn, lay a dazzling fortune valued at around two million dollars. It was a shimmering collection of gold and precious gems that beckoned enthusiasts to decipher the poem's riddles, all in pursuit of the grand prize. Tragically, this quest led to the loss of four lives, a reminder of the risks entailed in the chase for such riches. Stoff, however, emerged as the lucky one, discovering the chest in the Wyoming mountains. Keeping his identity shrouded in secrecy for safety reasons, he eventually unveiled himself as the triumphant seeker. Yet he chose not to disclose the exact location to prevent turning the spot into a pilgrimage site for treasure hunters and fen enthusiasts. And here's a twist to ponder. Upon revealing his success, Stoff faced a lawsuit from a disappointed seeker who felt entitled to the riches as well. It's a reminder that treasure hunters are a fervent bunch, sometimes even ready to take drastic measures. Number 14. 
Treasure of Nimrud. In the late 1980s, a trove of invaluable treasures known as the Treasures of Nimrud emerged from Assyrian royal tombs near Mosul in northern Iraq. These treasures, encompassing jewelry and precious artifacts, hold a significance comparable to the contents of King Tutankhamun's legendary tomb. This is no small feat, considering the iconic stature of Tutankhamun's tomb in the annals of history. However, these treasures' fate took an unexpected twist due to the tumultuous events in Iraq. The timing of their recovery is tied to the fall of Saddam Hussein in Iraq, which unleashed a wave of looting across the country. Amid this chaos, many feared that the collection of artifacts, the treasures of Nimrud included, had been forever lost. Yet, the narrative shifted in June of 2003 when filmmaker Jason Williams partnered with National Geographic on a mission to locate and reclaim these priceless artifacts. Their journey led them to the Central Bank of Iraq, where the treasures had been placed for safekeeping back in 1990. It's a poignant contrast. These objects were initially safeguarded to preserve history, and ultimately, it was the effort to protect the history that ensured their rediscovery by those who ardently sought to save them. Number 13. Silverdale Hoard. Our journey into the Silverdale Hoard takes us back a millennium to a tale where a Viking's hidden treasure unfolds. According to legend, this Viking carefully dug a pit, placing his wealth within it. The trove boasted five arm rings meticulously positioned beneath a lead pouch, which safeguarded an array of coins, hack silver rings, and an intricately designed brooch. The intrigue deepens with two twists. The Viking never returned for his riches, and this hoard remained concealed for over a thousand years. Fast forward to 2011, and we meet Darren Webster, a metal-detecting enthusiast exploring a field near Silverdale. Destiny beckoned as his metal detector resonated with excitement, guiding him to the long-forgotten hoard. Recognizing the historical significance of his find, Webster sought the expertise of the Portable Antiquities Scheme at the Museum of Lancashire. The discovery proved monumental. Over 200 artifacts emerged, weaving together a tapestry of history. While the collective value hovers around £100,000, this story isn't solely about monetary worth. It underscores the idea that treasures can slumber inconspicuously anywhere, awaiting their moment of rediscovery. Number 12. Over 350 bars of gold. Let's take a slightly different angle on this one, as life doesn't always follow a straightforward script. Amidst the stories of newfound wealth, there lies a tale with a twist one that reads like a movie plot. A police sting unfolds in Turkey, centered around a canyon rumored to hold a fortune in gold. Yet, when the law enforcement teams arrived, they encountered an unexpected twist. Responding to a tip, the police swept into action, dispatching teams to scour the canyon. The result of their search was astounding, though not in the way anyone anticipated. Inside a concealed cave, they unearthed 369 bars resembling gold. There's a catch, though. These bars were forged from plaster, meticulously painted to mimic the sheen of gold. And the intrigue deepens. The cave's entrance had been deliberately blocked, concealing the fakes within. This isn't just a tale of a counterfeit gold discovery. It carries a darker undercurrent. The investigation led to the arrest of four individuals linked to a local terrorist group. The purpose behind crafting hundreds of bars of fake gold remains shrouded in mystery. Speculation arises. Were they planning an elaborate scheme, trading fake gold for real assets only to leave their victims empty-handed? We may never know for certain. Number 11. The Atoka. Dive into the depths of history with another sunken treasure tale, this time from the realm of real-life treasure ships, a phenomenon more abundant than you might imagine. Our story sets sail in 1622, with a fleet of 28 ships departing Havana, Cuba, en route to Spain. This maritime convoy carried a dazzling array of riches. Gold, silver, emeralds, pearls, and more, harvested from various corners of Central and South America. Now, I'll let your imagination ponder the vastness of their journey. The plot takes a dramatic twist as a formidable hurricane strikes, dashing the fleet's hopes and dreams. The majority of ships succumb to the tempest's fury, including a prized vessel that would become the stuff of legends, the Atoka. Tales of this fateful ship's demise spread far and wide, especially when fragments of its treasure and remnants were discovered washing up along Florida's shores. The allure of sunken riches lured many to explore the waters in search of the lost vessel. One such explorer, Mel Fisher, stood out. 
Devoting 16 years of his life to the quest, he finally hit the jackpot in 1985. Fisher's dedication paid off as he unearthed the coveted Mother Lode, a treasure trove of unimaginable worth, an estimated value of a staggering $450 million. While it might have been tempting to bask in newfound riches, Fisher's heart took a different course. Rather than living off his discovery, he chose a nobler path. He employed the wealth to establish a museum that would showcase the very treasures he had unearthed, offering a tangible connection to history's hidden narratives. Number 10. Padmanabha Swami Temple Treasure Prepare to be amazed by the captivating narrative of the Padmanabha Swami Temple's underground treasure, an astonishing assortment of riches ranging from golden thrones, crowns, coins, statues, and ornaments, to diamonds and an array of precious stones. This treasure hoard encompasses everything that one might envision in a grandiose collection, befitting the grandeur of the temple itself. But here's where the tale truly takes a remarkable twist. This wealth wasn't confined to a single location but rather spread across six vaults, each harboring its own cache of treasures. This temple, more than just a place of worship, houses within its sacred walls a secret trove of treasures. As you delve deeper into this saga, you'll discover the six vaults, each designated A through F, hold a diverse array of riches. Chambers A and B cradle exotic golden wonders, while C and D unveil the glimmer of gold and silver jewelry. Vaults E and F reveal an assortment of utensils employed in temple rituals, each piece a testament to the spiritual heritage they embody. As the story unfolds, the intrigue escalates. In 2011, only Vault B had been unlocked, yet it was believed to hold untold treasures of unparalleled value. The plot thickens with a legal tussle, a clash of claims and rights over this priceless treasure trove. After all, given the preciousness of the treasures within, the question of ownership and authority over these vaults is nothing short of a natural consideration. Number 9. Caesarea Sunken Treasure Let's journey into the aquatic realm of sunken treasure, where the depths of the sea guard secrets of untold riches. Our tale takes us to Caesarea National Park in Israel, where on an ordinary day, scuba divers embarked on an underwater exploration. Little did they know that this seemingly casual dive would evolve into an astonishing discovery. Amidst the aquatic landscape, the divers stumbled upon a gold coin, which they initially dismissed as a child's discarded toy. A logical assumption considering the eclectic objects people often toss into the water. But, as is the way with many treasure tales, the divers didn't stop at their initial find. They continued their underwater odyssey, and with each new discovery, their amazement deepened. It's a feeling we can all understand, the thrill of stumbling upon the unexpected, an exhilaration that swells with each new piece of treasure unveiled. The diver's journey took a transformative turn when engravings on the coins offered compelling evidence of their authenticity. Driven by their find, they approached the Israeli Antiquities Authority, securing permission to expand their search. The subsequent expedition yielded an astounding haul. Over 200 coins emerged from their watery hiding place. Yet there's a captivating twist that sets this discovery apart. These coins spanned various eras and even different centuries, painting a mosaic of history that defied expectations. This diverse collection rendered appraising its value and historical significance an intricate puzzle. Number 8. King Tut's Tomb Imagine it's 1922, and the news of Howard Carter's astounding discovery reverberates across the globe. In an era where today's headlines can be eclipsed by a celebrity haircut, the unearthing of King Tutankhamun's nearly intact tomb was nothing short of seismic. Carter's remarkable feat transcended mere archaeological discovery. It unveiled a treasure trove that continues to mesmerize the world. More than 5,000 artifacts emerged from the tomb's depth, each item weaving a narrative that captivates audiences even today. These relics travel the globe, drawing massive crowds eager to experience the echoes of a distant past. Yet the tale isn't without its shrouded mysteries. Whispers of the so-called Curse of the Pharaohs have lingered, an enigmatic lore that's fascinated minds for generations. Did this curse truly befall those who dared disturb the rest of ancient rulers? Is it a genuine force of fate or perhaps a twist of imagination? It's a question that tantalizes, a riddle we may never fully unravel. In the wake of King Tut's tomb discovery, a fascination with ancient Egypt swept the public. Even today, the allure of pyramids and the mystique of this civilization endure as explorers and archaeologists delve into Egypt's sands in search of fresh revelations. Number 7. 
Tilia Tepe. Picture a treasure hoard that eclipses even a collection of 10,000 items, an astonishing array of over 20,600 ornaments, coins, and artifacts crafted from exquisite materials like gold, silver, and delicate ivory. These treasures lay nestled in six burial mounds, a tribute to five women and a man from the 1st century BCE and 1st century CE. Their intricate beauty offers a captivating glimpse into a bygone age, a testament to the timeless allure of history's treasures. However, the plot takes intriguing twists. The journey of these treasures began with their discovery, and they were later ensconced in an Afghan museum. Yet, fate played a curious hand. A narrative of looting and mystery unfolded with some speculating government involvement. Eventually, in 2003, the Horde surfaced anew in clandestine vaults beneath Kabul's central bank building. Intriguingly, the key holders remained elusive, prompting a safe-cracking endeavor to reclaim the Horde. The tale reaches its crescendo with international collaboration. Following negotiations between Afghanistan and France, the collection underwent assessment and adorned the world stage, showcased in an exhibition that transcended borders. This cooperative endeavor, facilitated by esteemed museums and the National Geographic Society, culminated in an epic display, an amalgamation of history, art, and international effort. Number 6. The Panayuriste Treasure In the year 1949, at a ceramic factory in Bulgaria, an unassuming December day took an extraordinary turn. Three brothers, Pavel, Petko, and Mikhail Dekov, were engaged in the laborious task of digging clay for bricks. Little did they know destiny had other plans for them. Amidst the earth and clay, a hidden treasure emerged, a revelation that would forever alter their lives in an unexpected twist of fate. Their unassuming workday was transformed into a moment of exhilaration as they uncovered a trove of artifacts. But these were not just any artifacts. They were crafted from solid gold, bearing intrinsic value that would redefine the brothers' fortunes. Imagine the astonishment, the elation that coursed through their veins as the reality of their discovery sunk in. As the tale unfurls, the golden treasures would ultimately find a new home within museum walls, where they could be displayed for the world to marvel at. Replicas were crafted to allow even more people to witness the splendor of these precious artifacts, perpetuating the story of their discovery. The question lingers. How did these golden treasures come to rest beneath the very earth the brothers were excavating? It's a mystery shrouded in time, a secret that remains hidden. Now, it's time for today's subscriber's pick. Hey there, treasure hunters. Check out these colossal boulders made of solid gold found in Mexico. Now, before you scoff at the idea, I get it. It looks like something from a fairy tale, but believe me, there's more to this than meets the eye. Imagine stumbling upon these massive golden rocks. It's like a scene from an adventure movie. But here's the kicker. We're not entirely sure if this tale is history or fantasy. The recreated image sparks our curiosity, leaving us to wonder if adventurers really uncovered this gold jackpot in Mexico. Let us know your thoughts below. Number 5. Hand of Faith In the gold-rich lands of Australia, the tale of the Hand of Faith unfolds with a touch of magic. Imagine the spring of 1980 in Wedderburn, Victoria, a quiet spot where fate tapped Kevin Hillier on the shoulder. Little did he know that this random encounter would change his life forever, making him a symbol of unexpected fortune. Gold stories are woven into our world's fabric, miners' grit, lucky finds, but few match the grandeur of this saga. Hillier's discovery wasn't just any nugget, it was a 60-pound hunk of pure gold worth a stunning $5 million. This golden marvel, aptly named the Hand of Faith, became a legend, an emblem of rarity and value cherished by humanity. Yet, its brilliance transcends its weight. The Hand of Faith became a chapter in history, fueling an Australian gold frenzy that still echoes. Its glow even graced the screens of Gold Rush, captivating hearts with the allure of fortune and the indomitable spirit of treasure seekers. Number 4. The Black Swan Project Embarking on a modern-day adventure, the Black Swan Project set out to uncover sunken treasures beneath the sea's depths. Their target was the ill-fated ship Nuestra Señora de la Mercedes, lost during the Battle of Cape Santa Maria. The promise of gold and silver fueled their quest, but this story carries a captivating surprise, a tale of astonishing abundance. Imagine not just a handful, but a treasure trove of gold and silver coins weighing a jaw-dropping 17 tons. This immense wealth lay scattered on the ocean floor, the legacy of Spain's efforts to transport riches from South America to Europe. Sadly, the ship's fate was sealed by the clash of battle, sinking with its precious cargo intact. 
Meet the Black Swan Project, driven by an unwavering determination to recover this unprecedented hoard. Yet, as the adage goes, great rewards demand great efforts. Their pursuit, far from a low-cost endeavor, required an investment exceeding $2 million. Nevertheless, the allure of untold wealth and history's whispers proved irresistible, inspiring these modern adventurers on their journey. Number 3. The Han Dynasty Our story leads us to China, a land rich in history, where an incredible discovery awaited, the largest collection of ancient Chinese coins ever found. These coins, dating back to the renowned Han Dynasty, hold tales of the past. Through diligent excavation, this treasure trove emerged, revealing a cache of gold coins from another time. Among them, the intriguing cash coins, once of great value, stood out. A captivating revelation followed. These coins resembled those found in carefully preserved wooden boxes, suggesting they were cherished before being hidden away. But this trove hints at more untold stories. The Earth may harbor additional coins, awaiting discovery by those willing to venture forth. Within the soil lies echoes of ancient trade and culture, bridging the gap between history and today. As these coins come to light, they offer a window into the past, reflecting a civilization's economy and society. Each coin holds a connection to lives lived long ago, inviting us to unravel the enigmas of a bygone era. Number 2. The Recluse's Gold Allow me to introduce you to Walter Samasco Jr., a man whose life unfolded on the fringes, often dismissed as a loner. His passing, unnoticed by many, seemed to echo the solitude that marked his days. Yet the story takes a twist, unveiling a hidden narrative of a man whose connection to wealth lay not in his social circles, but within the confines of his own garage. In the aftermath of his departure, city officials entered his residence to clear it out, a solemn task that fate had decreed for the solitary man. What they encountered was astounding, a treasure trove of golden coins, resplendent remnants of another era. These coins, Austrian in origin and dating back to the 1890s, painted a portrait of forgotten wealth that Samasco had quietly amassed. Amidst the dust and shadows of his garage, a revelation of astonishing magnitude unfurled. The stash, valued at a staggering $7.4 million, lay dormant, its existence known only to the walls that contained it. The mystery deepened as the story unfolded. How had he come into possession of such riches? Records revealed legitimate purchases, dispelling notions of thievery or wrongdoing. In a twist both poetic and ironic, Samasco's amassed wealth, akin to an unclaimed heirloom, was in search of a rightful owner. With no direct kin to inherit his legacy, the courts eventually traced a connection to a first cousin, awakening them to a newfound fortune they could scarcely comprehend. Number 1. The Bactrian Gold when it comes to the Bactrian hoard, you might be tempted to think it involves some unpleasant bacterial accumulation, but the truth is quite different. This hoard isn't about bacteria, rather, it's a remarkable collection of ancient artifacts. Discovered in 1978 by a Greek-Russian archaeologist in the northern Afghan province of Yaozyan, this trove comprised approximately 20,600 ornaments, coins, and various metal artifacts dating back to the 1st century BCE. Yet the joy of unearthing history was cut short by the tumultuous events of the time. The Soviet invasion of Afghanistan in the following year disrupted the newfound treasure story. The hoard vanished into obscurity, only to resurface in 2003, a poignant reminder of the tumultuous decades that intervened. During those intervening years, the fate of the artifacts remains a mystery. Though I cannot provide specifics, feel free to let your imagination roam and envision a tale of intrigue and unexpected twists. In my imaginary version, a disgruntled soldier attempts a heist amidst the chaos, but the story turns tragic in ways that cannot be shared here. Discovering a treasure twice within a span of 25 years is rare, much like David Hasselhoff's career rebound from the infamous bathtub pizza incident. In both cases, these tales remind us that history can surprise us with unexpected turns, be it in ancient artifacts or the unexpected revival of a career. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.